wheel is 264 feet, Jeff. Can you imagine it? I'm attempting to. I bet you can see for a hundred miles at the top. We should make that our first priority. Whatever pleases you the most. You please me the most. You mean you are not weary of me after an entire day of marriage? I will never be weary of you. I shall hold you to that, my dear. <laughs> I think we've arrived. Isn't this grand? As advertised. Very nice. Let's check in. Are we the only ones here? I'm sure that was a mad dash first thing this morning to get to the fair. Try again? Well, this does not bode well for the level of service we're in store for. Must be a small staff and everyone is busy. Slow service. That means they're making sure everything is perfect. That's my Marie. Always finding that silver lining. My sincere oh. apologies. For both startling you and for making you wait. My attention was needed elsewhere. I promise from here on out it will be nothing but silver linings. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. Please, sign in here. First time in Chicago? I'm going to hazard a guess and assume you're here to take in the exposition. The fair, yes, but that's not all. Today is a very special day for us. Oh, a honeymoon. How very, very lovely. <clears throat> Perhaps my wife, Mrs. Whitman, would like to sign. <laughs> yes, today's the beginning of our honeymoon. Congratulations. In that case, an upgrade is in order. A honeymoon suite it is. Oh, well, uh, are the rates that much higher? <laughs> I think nothing of it. The same rates as your regular room. The upgrade is on us. You're our first honeymooners. How kind. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Henry Howard Holmes. You have a lovely hotel, Mr. Holmes. Well, thank you very much. I designed and built most of it myself. You're an architect, then? Architect, designer, builder, doctor, artist. I'm a man of many interests. Impressive. Please, have a look around. We have sundries and gifts at the pharmacy counter. I'll take your luggage up to your room and ensure that everything is in order. Just make a note if you decide to purchase anything, and we will add it to your bill. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. We appreciate it. The pleasure is all mine. Now, 
What did I forget to bring? Oh, pardon me, miss. Careful, you. My husband gets awfully cross with men who act fresh. Hmm, <laughs> he sounds like a ripe fellow. How's the marriage going? Lovely. Thanks for asking. Well, let's just head up. I'm sure the room is ready. See anything good over there at the jewelry counter? Anything fancy? Wouldn't you like to know? I wonder what's in here. I'm starting to think I've gone and married a thrill seeker. Ferris wheels, forbidden rooms. Are we looking for excitement? Perhaps. <sighs> Perhaps. Nothing but an unfinished room. See what happens when you chase a thrill? If this is you trying to get out of the Ferris wheel. I know you won't be denied. Wait, what's that? <gasps> Don't move. <laughs> Sorry. Are we lost? A wrong turn. It would seem. This room is being renovated. It's not safe. Of course. We... You must have missed the sign saying private. Must have. We're very sorry. I can't have you falling through floors and having your brains dashed out, can I? No. Again, we apologize. <laughs> Think nothing of it. I'm only thinking of your safety. Wouldn't want you to get hurt. <laughs> Welcome, newlyweds, to the honeymoon suite. <laughs> Thank you kindly, Mr. Holmes. Do enjoy your stay. If you'll excuse me, I have work to return to. I'm sure we'll see each other again soon. <laughs> Goodness, this place is fit for a king. Or my queen. Oh, you. Kiss this. That is not very wifely of you. Ah! Bullseye! You asked for it. I give up. Victory! Yeah. <laughs> you cheated! I have something for you. Are you going to throw it at me? No. An actual gift. <laughs> Close your eyes and face the mirror. Aren't you clever and romantic? If I get a pillow to the face, I will sock you right in the kisser. <laughs> Is there a problem? No. 
Open your eyes. Oh, Jeff, it's lovely. I love it. Good. <laughs> Victory is mine. I'll let you have that bath now. It's jammed shut. Maybe if we put a little weight into it? Open sesame! <laughs> Thank you. Why don't you have a shave while I take a quick bath? Then we can reconvene. I know that word. It's French for something illicit. <laughs> Shush. Shave. I think I forgot to pack my razor and kit. I'm sure the pharmacy downstairs has them. Don't be too long in that bath. <laughs> don't you worry. Better not. Hmm. I could have sworn this was the way we came up. Is that you, darling? Jeff? Oh, are we playing another game? Back already? You know, this tub is awfully big. I think there might be room for another body.
Mm, that's nice. Ow. You don't know your own strength. Easy, dear. Jeff, that hurts. Hello, my dear. Ah! Quiet now. We don't want to disturb the other guests. Let go of me! Let go of me! I really thought you'd have a little more fight in you. There we are. Nice and quiet. What are you doing? If you've touched Maria... You're a bit late with that sentiment, good sir. Is there a problem, sir? this oh it's wonderful only the best for you my dear mother would simply die it's so i say uh, good man do you work here hello welcome to the world's fair hotel Have you been waiting long? Welcome back. I do enjoy seeing a familiar face. You did so well last time. Not a single soul lost. I'm surprised you've returned. Morbid curiosity, perhaps? It's so good to have company. For a long time, I was on my own. I can barely recall a time when I wasn't here, watching over these tales. And what good are stories without somebody to experience them? This is a story about those who create, and the lengths they might go to for their art to be made pure. Art can elicit all sorts of reactions. Delight, inspiration, desire, yes, but also doubt, fear, dread. The way you react, the decisions you make, will affect this story. Hidden in the world, you'll find dark pictures. They give glimpses of the possible consequences of your choices. 
And sometimes it's the smallest choices that can have the biggest repercussions. You're responsible for what happens. You're culpable. I can't interfere. That's very much against the rules. I can only observe what happens and record any significant events. Oh. Ever seen one of these? They're very old. People used to call them obbles. They'd put them in the mouth of the recently deceased to pay the ferryman. Look out for them. You'll find them in the strangest places. I'll be happy to exchange any that you find, and I'll certainly make it worth your while. Well, shall we start? The game is afoot. I will be watching. My name is Kate Wilder. I've got a master's in criminal psychology. I'm an investigative journalist and hope to make a difference. You may have recently seen my interview on Chicago AM on Ticket uh, 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 and, uh, and yeah, it's really tough when just being honest means everyone thinks you're a bitch. I'm not sure I've got issues to deal with, same as everyone. I I'm working on it. I. Hey, I'm Mark. I study photography at UCLA. Um, at a great time. Really want to get back into some serious photography. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a job. I've been a key grip and lighting tech for years. See a problem, light it. You don't often meet someone like that. Man, how do you even start? I'm sick of being on my own. Sorry, do you start with qualifications or, um, like, personal info? Because I don't, I mean, will anyone access this? I'm kind of private, actually. Uh, yeah, Charlie Lonitz, UK originally. I've uh, been here for 20 years. The last series was so on track. It was, uh, it was a very beautifully conceived and, um, didn't quite, uh, uh hit the mark as I was hoping it would. It's a fucking mess, to be honest with you. I think we've heard quite enough. Enough? <laughs> oh, I've barely begun, Your Honor. You don't seem to understand. I was born with the devil in me. I could not help the fact that I was a murderer any more than a poet can help the inspiration to sing. Bury me deep, Your Honor. Make sure they fill my pine box with cement. Put me deeper than anyone else and cover the ground with more cement cause trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. On May 7th, 1896, Herman Mudgett, a.k.a. Henry H. Holmes, was sent to the gallows. His neck did not snap from the force of hanging. Records indicate he hung, slowly suffocating for over 15 minutes, until finally the monster was dead. America's first serial killer confessed to 27 murders, but his investigators sifted through the traces he left behind, following his path from city to city, the number grew significantly. Nearly 200 lives. America's first serial killer, and possibly the worst. He was buried as requested, under concrete. Was he hoping to hide from God's judgment? Or did he truly want to keep the devil from climbing out and killing again? So, what do you think? To be honest, Charlie, this is a pilot. Hold that thought. Lonnet Entertainment. Charles Lonnet, please. Speaking, Charlie is fine. My name is Grantham Dumet. 
What can I do for you? Mr. Dumet. Actually, it's what I can do for you. Hear me out. I'm certainly grateful to you, Mr. <clears throat> Dumet. This all sounds amazing, but I, uh, I just, I'm waiting to hear what the catch is. No offense. None taken. I'm in a privileged position. I don't need for much, but my time is at a premium. We need to do this today. I'll send a car for you this afternoon, 4 p.m., be ready. This afternoon? We're talking a couple of days shoot. I've told my team they're free this weekend, and frankly, they're a temperamental bunch. Without them, this conversation <laughs> is dead in the water. We, uh... I've told you what I have. Please don't waste my time. Am I sending the car or not? Yes, of course, we're in. I'll get them there, I promise. Let's do it. Mr. Dumet send you. We... Right, let's load up, guys. All right, got it. I'm good. <clears throat> Sorry. Are you? I mean, this is that ring light that makes you all glowy. We leave it behind it. Right, you're right. This is gonna be grand people. Adventure. <laughs> Excitement. Anyone? Road trip. Huzzah. Woohoo. Hooray. This is going to be great, guys. So do we know where we're going exactly? You don't like surprises? You know what this just reminds me of? Don't say it. Topeka. Exactly. Me. No money in my pocket, a dead phone, and lost in the middle of goddamn Topeka. That wasn't my fault. It was 100% your fault, because you fly by the seat of your ass. So, come on, Charlie. What do we know about this guy? He's rich, he's a recluse, he's obsessed with H.H. H. Holmes. Totally sane, I'm sure. We're going to a property he inherited from a relative. That's who had the obsession with Holmes. Some of the rooms are full recreations from the murder castle. Dumet has blueprints, documents, artifacts. When I said this would save the show, I was not exaggerating. And you substantiated all of this? Just trust me. Sorry for all the mystery. Before we go any further, I have to ask that we lock up your phones for safekeeping. While this may sound strange that I invite you to film the collection inside my home, I cannot allow any personal devices that Was may share information that could know affect about my this? business or lifestyle. There are rules. All footage you wish to use must be authorized by me first. I require privacy and discretion. I must insist. His place, his rules. Look, what he's offering us is worth it. Could be making us pay, but he isn't. If this is all he asks, then we do it. Fine. For the show. I'm telling you, this is going to be great. You said that in Topeka. Dude is so rich, shouldn't he have service or something? This guy gonna help? <clears throat> no, really, I got it. Thanks, bro. Don't sweat it, jackass. Okay. So now what? I'd love to get some footage of the lake and the scope of this. Not with all the mist and fog. There, from on high we'll get a better look. That's certainly um, up there. The, the visuals will be great and we can frame up over the mist. Charlie, you'll hack up a lung before you're halfway up there. I'm fit as a butcher's dog. Mark, this is crazy. But we'll be fine. Let's go, Charlie. Be careful, guys. Nice knowing you. Come on. <laughs> hey, 
Wait, guys, hurry up. We're on it. Jesus, that is loud. Man. It's meant to be heard from miles away. Well, yeah, I know that in theory, but... Oh, so much for plan A. We must be able to work our way around. Come on. Anything for the shot, right? Okay, I won't lie. I was hoping being here, all remote and away from the world, that maybe I'd have some downtime, some space to decompress. Downtime? Why would you want to do that? <laughs> hey. When we wrap, I'd like to take a couple weeks off. Go see my family. I need you in post. I really appreciate that concerning eye of yours, you know. I got a lot going on at the moment, Charlie. Oh, right, yeah, of course, sure. Take a couple of weeks. Get your head together. I appreciate it. I'll be fine in post on that. You should do the same. Take some time out. You got any family you can go and bother? Oh, well. No, Mrs. Bonnet, you got hiding in some closet somewhere? Married to the job. Married to the job? <laughs> How's that marriage working out? Well, from what I hear about real marriages, pretty damn good. <laughs> Married to the job. Christ, what the hell is that? A mannequin. You know, just hanging out. Maybe it's part of some old museum display or something. Right. That's probably it. coming yeah just looking at the light on the mist how is that gonna fit into the show it just caught my eye coming always the photographer i can't exactly turn it off there's a lot of crossover between the creative stuff and the commercial stuff hmm you sure about that because crossover with kate hasn't exactly we agreed to let that drop for the weekend just making sure your head's in the game This looks pretty old. What's that? Just some old coin. Buy the penny, get up. Look, sorry I give you a hard time now and again, but I really couldn't make these shows without you. That's not true. I may be driving this car. What car? A Lonnet Entertainment car. But you're the one who keeps the engine going. It's not how cars work. Jesus, you try and give someone a compliment. Thanks, Charlie. I get it. Just a little breaking and entering. How are you not in jail?
Christ, what the hell is that? Nice to meet you too. Just need some fresh sheets, some nice drapes. And six gallons of sanitizer. Be okay, it's all gonna be okay. Look at this, it's perfect. Come on, get shooting. I want you to pan across the lake until the island comes into shot, then zoom into that lighthouse. Look, there's all right. Come on. We better get back. That him? I don't know. We just had the one call. Uh, how did he know what our show was about in the first place? Uh, actually, I didn't ask. That's weird. Let's just play nice, okay? Hello, Mr. Lonnet. That's me. I'm Grantham Demet. Everyone climb aboard and we'll head out. This is Mark. Mark. Erin, Jamie. Ladies. And this is Kate. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Dumet. I'm looking forward to seeing all it is you have to offer. We truly appreciate this. Lovely to meet you all. What say we get underway? Again, I really can't thank you enough for this opportunity. Of course. Was it your great-uncle you said that... Um... Let's get to where we're going. I'll explain everything later. Sure. Of course. Let's get up to the hotel. Uh, please, let's stay close. Stick together. Is it dangerous here? No, of course not. You sure? Because you don't seem sure. It's perfectly safe. But we are a long ways from help if somebody gets hurt. So please, take care. Looks like things are buttoned up tight around here. God. This way. Don't worry about your bags. I'll make sure they're brought. Slow, deep breaths, Charles. Try not to cough up a diseased lung. I'll be fine. Just pretend there's a carton of smokes at the top of the hill. You're right. He takes his security very seriously. I wonder what he's afraid will get in. Maybe you should be asking what he's trying not to let out. Jamie. Just saying? You watch too many horror movies. He values his privacy. We've known that right from the start. We've known that for about two hours. Just go. Mark, get your camera. I want to grab a quick intro from here. I need some shots leading up to the house. Don't need the whole journey. Kate, talking to camera, then I'll direct you from there, okay? No photos. No recording of me at all. 
Is that clear? I'm a very private person. Don't worry, Mr. Dumet. Discretion is Lona Entertainment's motto. You want the usual intro stuff, Charlie? Please. The light is good. I'm ready to go, Aaron. It sounds clear. Okay, let's go for a take then. Is Kate's face ready? Bitch, I'm always camera ready. Stop trying to make me like you. Rolling. Speed. And action. I've just arrived on the private island which claims to have genuine artifacts from H.H. H. Holmes' reign of terror. I'm heading to the house right now. Perfect, Kate. Now turn to face the house and start to walk. Okay, that's enough. And cut. We really do need to get going. Anything you say, Mr. Dumas? This way. You'll steal some more shots, right? Obviously. Mr. Dumet is being really restrictive. I noticed. I want you to get a look around without him knowing. The man is entitled to his privacy. He's cagey. I want to know what he's trying to hide. What do you want to do? What you did that time with those cops in Glendale. Seriously? Ah, oh, ow! Oh, oh my, damn it! What happened? You okay? Oh. Did you baby ego again? We should get her up to the hotel. Oh, my, I can barely move it. Jamie, stay with her. Why me? Because you know first aid. Remember how you patched her up in Glendale? Oh, right. Okay. We'll find some ice and a bandage and come back. You have that at the hotel? Yes, sure. Then let's go. What is going on? Come on. I'll clue you in later. And taking acting classes again? Yeah, yeah. What's Charlie want? A better lay of the land. And we're the scouts because? I'm charming, and you can hotwire your way past security. Come on. ask you something and get a straight answer you know you know you making a smart ass reply or taking a shot at me that works both ways fine oh, tell me the truth is there any saving this show maybe if there's some sort of magical holy grail of footage or information to be had here watch your head you think that's likely no at best we'll get some nice b-roll that's not gonna save our asses He could have told us to dress for a trek. <gasps> Try not to fall and die. I don't want to see Mark cry. Thanks for the concern. Really. on your face, did you? Gotta protect that franchise. Shut up.
Do you live out here on this island? Shh, get down. With your family? My wife is... She died. <laughs> Mr. Dumet, is this an actual palm tree? Was this shipped into the island? I... I don't think so. wanted to go on nature hikes, I wouldn't have moved to the city. This shit is not in my job description. This reminds me of shit summer camps. If I can get the car moving and stop it here, we'll be able to get across. get this thing working. Jamie, can you fix this? through here. Hear that? Hello. Wonder who you are. I guess I just needed to rest it for a minute. I think I'm okay. You found a shortcut up the hill. I really need you to stay where I say. You got it, Mr. Dumet. We're all here now. Let's head on. Everyone stay under the watchful eye of Mr. Dumet, please. Kate. What do you think? A summer camp from hell. Whatever. We're gonna find out what's up his sleeve before too long. Don't worry about that.
coming or what? Uh huh. You afraid of heights? Maybe. Yes. Oh shit! We're all gonna die. Just go. <laughs> oh my god! Relax, Mark. You good? Oh, man. You can do it. Eyes forward. Don't look down. I got it. It's fine. Is it, though? I shouldn't have looked. It's just water down there. You can swim. Besides, the bridge looks dependable. Ish. Come on. I'll help. That's it. Look, it's fine. I'm not looking. <laughs> Don't look down. Yeah. <laughs> See? Not so bad. <sighs> Thank you. You always knew how to get me through the shit, didn't you? We should catch up to Mr. Dumet. Where is everyone? Apologies, uh, they're all city folk. Come on, let's go. We're losing the day, people. This place is magnificent. Yeah. Maybe this won't be a waste of a weekend. Hello. I wonder who you are. What are you doing? I... I saw a little girl. Up there. Maybe it's your one fan. And now she's lost forever. You are such a dick. Everything in here is fragile. Please be careful. Man, this is brilliant. Whoa. Look at this. It's... Amazing. This is intense. Would you all mind signing in at the desk, please? Uh, this isn't everything. I'm sure the rest is almost here. I I'll make sure it gets to your rooms. Kate's makeup case is slowing it down. Erin, cigarettes. Blue backpack. Settle in, and I'll meet you all at dinner. At eight. Mr. Dumet, I cannot say thank you enough times. This is truly fantastic. I told you all this was a good plan, didn't I? <laughs> I told you. from you.
This is my dumb. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. You're jumpy. Oh my god. I think I peed a little. How did you not hear me coming? I was. I don't think we're the only ones here. Kate saw a little girl looking out a window at us when we were outside. That's who I saw. A little girl. Mr. Demet probably has family, a staff, maybe friends. Who knows? That said, this place does give me the willies. It's, um, it's unique. Are you singing? Oh, yeah, that's my being scared song. This is my don't be scared song. Sing it and I won't be scared long. <laughs> Doesn't really work. I bet. 181. Uh, I think I'm around the corner. 183? This is me. Okay. Okay. Good luck out there. Don't get lost. Scream if you need me for anything. Thanks. I got you. Nothing to be scared of. Actually, hey. Yeah? Why don't you hang a second while I unpack, then I can help you find your room? Something about this place makes me want to use the buddy system. Yes, thanks. I'd end up lost, probably. It's just a haul, dude. And here we are. Well, it's, um, cozy? Hmm. It's one step above one of those Japanese capsule hotels. Oh, come on. Could be way worse. Like our room in Topeka. No, nope, do not. I've blocked that from memory and don't want it coming back. Because of the roaches? Because if you snore. Uh, where's the bathroom? Wait, what? Old school. Uh, gross school? What do I have to pee in the middle of the night? Am I gonna walk in on Charlie sitting on the pot? Guess that means there's no mini bar either. Oh. Shows what you know. What is that? Wine, genius. Oh, I feel like if we start drinking, Charlie will find out and lecture me and make me feel like an asshole again. Yeah, he does that. But we're not on the clock. Not until we're rigging to shoot. Which is hard to do drunk. <laughs> I'm not suggesting we get full on hammered before we work. Why are you doing that? I'm thirsty. Also, you're cute when you're worked up. I don't... cute? You think I'm cute? Hmm? Oh. You're so clumsy. What would Charlie say? Oh, I know. Where'd it go? Uh... It's uh, all the way against the wall. See it? <coughs> you okay? <coughs> Shit. You trying to scare me now? <coughs> no. Revenge? Because good job. you have asthma? Since I was born. My meds are good. It's normally not a thing. I just need to be more careful of things like dust and pollen and getting the shit scared out of me. I'm an asshole. You didn't know. It's fine. Promise. You sure? Sure. I'm sure. So, uh, yeah. Cozy. <laughs> You gonna try that? And now you're poisoned. It's not that bad. You're not lying? It's piquant. Decent vintage. Sure. I'm getting oaky undertones, a hint of citrus. Oh. 
And I want to say a strong, healthy amount of moldy sweat drops. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I hate you. You are such a liar. <laughs> oh, sorry. The wine is trash. Totally lied about that. Really? Uh-huh. Sorry, what I said earlier. I didn't mean to make you feel weird. I, uh, yeah, it's just, we work together and Charlie is always on me about being more professional and- I get it. No, I mean, I, I'm not saying I don't appreciate it. Er um. Or that I don't think you're cute too. It's just, um. Oh, oh God, um, sorry. What? No, it, it's fine. I thought you, uh, I'm an idiot. I mean, I thought I was being a little flirty, but I you can't just... believe I just did that. <sighs> Who is that? Having fun being a fucking peeping Tom out here? I didn't see a thing. The door's closed. A listening Tom? Eavesdropper. Yeah, have fun listening in on us. Did I, did I interrupt something? No, we're just talking shop. We're worried about the power grid handling all of our gear. I don't care what you guys are doing. Then why are you lurking? I can't find my room and I need a fucking cigarette. <laughs> These funny shapes are numbers. They go up and down in order. Thank you. I've just been down there. Look, give me ten, then we should get a rough plan for getting our first shot. We have all evening. Can't we plan after dinner? I'd like to chill for a minute after the trek getting here. I want to be shooting after dinner. You've got ten minutes. Okay. We'll be down in a few then. Oh, Erin, I checked my blue bag. No cigarettes. That's where I put them. Come and show me. Maybe one of us is colorblind and doesn't know what a blue bag is. So we're all done with what we were talking about? Great. Cool. Good luck finding your rooms. <laughs> Where the hell are they going? Well? I'm looking. Oh, Kate wanted you to have this. Breaking down walls, navigating the maze of anxiety. Are you fucking kidding me? I think she thought it might help with your stress, or... Absolutely not. I'm not stressed, okay? Do I look fucking stressed? Uh... That was rhetorical. Well, your cards came out nice enough. Oh, yeah. Embossing. Makes a huge difference. You old guys love business cards. 
<laughs> old school. You old school guys. I also put it on heavy stock and did the logo in foil. Damn. I should have had one ready for Mr. Dumet. Did you find them? I... no. I swear I put them in here. I don't understand. <sighs> Jesus. Check the other bag. Didn't you already? Just look. It's only clothes and, uh... Uh, this. Notice of eviction. The studio? I paid the studio rent out the wrong account and the check bounced. It's nothing. I just have to use another... It's fine. So you're saying not to worry? Worry about finding my bloody cigarettes. They're gone, Charlie. Gone? Just like that? Are you saying somebody took them? I... I don't... Actually, I can see Kate doing that. Or Jamie. I'm sorry. A mental note isn't good enough. Details matter. Yes. Got it. I will try to do better. This place is massive. Surely there is a pack of cigarettes in here somewhere. Even if they're ancient... You need them that bad? There was a bar off the lobby. There must be cigarettes in the bar, right? I mean, technically, it's not legal to smoke in bars, so... Come on. We're checking. If you find them first, all will be forgiven. So, I know you said it wasn't a thing, but that bank notice... You're fixating, which normally I applaud, but not about this. I mean, you tell us if we were in danger of losing our jobs, right? It's television. Everyone is always in danger of losing their jobs. Sure, but... It's fine. Erin, please. I've squared it all with the network. We're still working on this final episode, and they're paying your salary, not me. Well, but... You have to let this go. We're fine, Erin, okay? Hey, Charlie. I was hoping next season maybe I could do more with the sound design, more creative stuff. Erin, what you already do for this company is very valuable to us. Carrying your bags and picking up your laundry? Absolutely. To get ahead in this industry, you have to pay your dues. Show you're ready to muck in. I... I think you should get an assistant. An assistant? Oh, it was just a stupid idea, Charlie. I'm an just... An assistant? A personal assistant? Sort of. And then I could help out with the editing. Pardon me? The editing? The audio mix. Look, I just think you've got so much to give, so much experience. And it's an opportunity to pass that knowledge on. Right. Yes, I suppose it is. And an assistant wouldn't lose my cigarettes, would they? Exactly. So, do you still want to direct movies, Charlie? I am directing. Hey, maybe Mr. Dumet is in the back office. You could just ask him about cigarettes. No, but I mean real movies. With a big budget and big stars. Jackpot. Erin! I found the key! Erin, there's something important that you have to understand. In the work that we do, the very important work, the truth is the star. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry, Charlie. So you don't want to direct movies. Can we move on from this? Why don't I go check for a gift shop or something? I've already had one asthma attack today, and this dust farm is exactly what I don't need. A gift shop might have cigarettes. Exactly. At a girl. Hello? Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, of course it wants exact change. Damn it!
Next round's on me. Promise. Yes! After Daddy. Oi! Oi! Oh, no, 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 please, come on, no! Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Lord. No, come on, you piece of shit. Don't do this to me. <clears throat> Antique rubbish. Give them to me. Give me my cigarettes. Right, you. That's it. I'm going to go and get my key grip, and they are going to kick the shit out of you. Hey, Charlie. Yeah. I'm still in the bar. I think it's dinner time. We should get everyone else. Okay, I'm coming. And I'm coming back for you with a fucking pry bar. Are you alone in there? Who's that behind the bar? What? a thought on an intro segment you want to shoot now yeah if we get it shot and in the bank maybe charlie will stop rewriting everything i come up with yeah <laughs> okay sure what nothing just give me a sec and i'll be good to go i'm supposed to buy nothing is eating away at you yes how many times have you cleaned that lens i'm just prepping my gear really yeah Always focusing on the detail, Mark. What about taking a huge risk and just do something? I watched you fuss for a whole week before you turned down that job offer, all because you had to take one extra train to get there. The job wasn't the right move. The train thing confirmed it. Flimsy. I don't buy it. You don't have to buy it. Come on, let's just shoot this. Let's use natural light so we can do it alone. Didn't the lobby have skylight? I don't remember. I just want to look decent. You look good in any light. I'm not worried. Are you trying to butter me up? Yes. Is it working? Marginally. I'll take it. Mark, why are you letting them all think I broke up with you? I feel like if Jamie knew the truth, she might back off. I mean, they all just assumed. I can't decide if that's sweet or selfish, or both. Before we... Look, can I say something? We agree that we're sticking to just the job. Right. Which is why you can't just roll up and drive by psychoanalyze me. I... Okay. You're right. That wasn't fair. I'm sorry. We don't need to rehash stuff. Let's just work. I can't... This is just proving harder than I thought. I don't want to be the one to... And I quote, to accept the reality that this did not and will not work. Sound familiar? Just because I said it doesn't mean I want to accept it. So try harder. Look, let's go find some light and get started. Thanks for doing this. You're only asking me because your arms are too short for a good selfie angle. My arms are not short. <laughs> Where to? Uh, the balcony would make for a cool angle. Whoa, there, bucko. I was just checking for light. Remember our talk about boundaries? I need my room to be my private, safe place. Sometimes I'm glad we went to therapy. Other times, it makes for some weird-ass rules. 
How's the new place? It'll do for now. Do you like it? It's just a place to keep my shit in crash. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of me. Look at this wallpaper. This is old as hell. Everything here is old as hell. I was expecting an old exterior, but remodeled inside. <laughs> Looks like Dumet is trying to preserve things. Can't be easy all the way out here. I like antiques as much as the next person, but at some point you have to give up the ghost. <laughs> Rod is gonna set in. Right, that's it. What? But since we got here, I've been smelling something faint, distant. Can't place it. It's decay. Old house. Island beaches with dead fish. Animals in the wood. Could be anything. Whatever it is, it's dead as hell. Should work. Mark, you okay in there? I'll be right back. So if Dumet catches us in here, are we breaking one of his rules? He did say not to go wandering. And we did practically bust the door down and get in here. We? So maybe we should take care. Whoa. Just come on. It's not that high. My vertigo is saying otherwise. What are you worried about, Miss? Always be camera ready. You look amazing as usual. Kate, check this out. It's his hat. Who? 
H. H. Holmes. Fuck! You okay? No! I just... This fucking thing popped out of nowhere. <laughs> See? What is it? Some kind of animatronic? Yeah, a fucked up looking one. <sighs> it can't hurt you. It scared you. It scared you twice. Hey, Charlie, it's eight. Dinner time. Damn it. We didn't get anything. There's still time. Come on, let's not keep Charlie waiting or we'll never hear the end of it. Hey, be civil with Charlie. He's the one who chose to be uncivil blowing up on me when all I did was my job. I'm the one doing the talking on camera, not him. Come on, you came in hot on him and you know it. Not that you're wrong, but you know he meets anger with more anger. This is on him, Mark, not me. I know Charlie can be a pain in the ass. Did you see his notes? Yeah, I saw them. I can't say half the shit he writes. It may look good on the page, but there's more to it. I'm trying to help, and he throws it back in my face. Because you... Because he thinks you're just trying to get content for your showreel. What if I was? Charlie does seem to think he owns us. He's so damn controlling. I don't let him control me. Why else do you think we fight so much? Did you know Aaron hasn't been paid in weeks? He told her that learning from him was its own reward. A piece of shit. He has her running around town, picking up his laundry, doing his shopping like he can't do anything for himself. <laughs> Doesn't matter. One way or another, I am moving on from Lana at Entertainment. Good for you. That's... That's definitely the right call for where your career is going. That... sounded very sincere. Because it is. Charlie would replace us in a second if he wouldn't be inconveniencing himself. He's using us. I deserve better than this. So do you. We all do. What a stunning performance. You should give up news and be an actress. I was quite moved by all that. Fucking Oscar worthy. You don't know what we were talking about. I heard enough, thank you. I know what betrayal sounds like. I'm particularly disappointed in you, Mark. Whatever your future plans may be, right now, you work for Lonit Entertainment, and Lonit Entertainment employees are meeting for dinner to speak with our host. Charlie, I'm sorry. And Lonit employees are professionals, yes? So start acting like it. Great. Happy? You have a future, and now I don't. That man is a goddamn child, and somehow we all sink to his level. Hey guys! Think it's okay if we pour some wine? God, please do. Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Shouldn't we wait for him? Just poor Mark. Who doesn't show up to their own dinner party? None of you did anything to piss him off, did you? No, Dad. I haven't seen a soul here aside from the groundskeeper. He's probably cooking dinner himself. Ah, oh, Mr. Dumet! I love what you've done with your hair. We started on the wine. Hope that's all right with Dumet? you. Dumet? Yeah, that dude ain't coming. Wait, what? why? He saw all the snide things you tweeted from his limo. I didn't. What are you talking about, Jamie? He got back aboard the ferry and left. What? When? Right after we got to our rooms. He just... Left. You're sure? Can't be. You must be mistaken. I'm not blind. I know what I saw. 
Why would he leave? That makes no sense. It was him and some girl. They were in a big ass hurry. Guess you were right. There was some kid here. I saw them together when I was looking for my room. Another perfect Charles Lonnet plan comes together. What's our next step, boss? Swim for shore? Why would he invite us here and to dinner and then just leave? I'm about done with you all questioning my judgment. The man tells me he has artifacts useful to our investigation. Look around you. Did he lie? There has to be a legit reason he left. We shouldn't leave to conclusions. Guys, am I the only one who's getting really freaked out by this place? And by Mr. Dumet? As much as it pains me from the depths of my soul to say it, I'm starting to side with Jamie on this one. Thank you. Lower your voices. Why? He's not here. But that doesn't explain why he stitched out on us. He had to go back to establish an alibi. What are you? You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side of the lake, he has plausible deniability. Oh, oh God, Shit. Jamie. Can you stop trying to make this worse? You're not helping. OK, fine. Just don't come crying to me if you end up dead. What is wrong with you? Just saying. Guess you never found your cigarettes. <laughs> so what are we doing? We just gonna sit here and pretend to eat? What's the plan, Charlie? The plan? In true lawn and entertainment fashion, we're going to sit with our thumbs in our asses until a panic deadline looms over us, and then we'll just throw some shit together and I'll save it with a voiceover. Wh well, here's to Topeka, no longer being the worst decision Charlie has ever made. <sighs> All right, enough. I'd like to propose a toast. It seems as if this may well be our last supper as a team, given how you've all been acting. Me and my apostles. <laughs> Just wait, give me a moment. I can't decide who the Judas is. I've got so many options. And of course you're the martyr. You're gonna find out very soon that you won't get very far without being a team player, Kate. Enough Sunday school bullshit. Charlie, what's your problem now? You know, you don't always have to get a word in, Jamie. You do your best work when you're silent, trust me. Come on, Charlie, you want us to rally behind you? Stop treating us like crap. Are you kidding me? You were the best damn DP I've ever worked with until Kate got into your head and made you insecure and neurotic. That's not... You think you're too good for this, don't you? You think you're an artist? Fine. Go take some pretty pictures and see if that pays the bills. You can blame my mood on Erin. She lost my smokes. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Drink, bitches. <sighs> oh, fuck off, Charlie. You're the director. You're not God. You're not the king. We're not your royal subjects that must kiss your ass and cater to your whims. Okay. No, he needs to hear this. He doesn't give a single shit about our feelings, our careers, our needs. Fuck him. Fuck you. Oh, this is just priceless. Of course you're enjoying this. Enjoying watching Charlie lose all control of his precious plan? Yeah, maybe a little. Enough, Jamie. Dude, you've lost the right to tell us what to do. Look at where we are. Is that what you all think? You're all in agreement about this? Yes. <sighs> Unbelievable. What do we do? We're like alone here. We don't have our phones. It's not like we can leave until he's back. May as well keep busy. 
Okay, yeah, I'm done. I'd rather be staring at a blank wall than sit here any longer. <laughs> hey, Mark. You want to follow Kate around like a lost dog, or should we start planning what gear to pull? There's good light in the lobby, minimal setup time. We can be good to go in 15. Then let's do it. At the very least, your sets are the most entertaining I've ever been on. You've always got something to say, haven't you? Yes. It's my superpower. <clears throat> Mark is right. Light in there is good. Just need to set up a couple fills. Won't take long. Grant. Cement put me deeper than anyone else and cover the ground with more cement cause trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again.
Breakers. Shit. Hello? Mr. Demet? the creepy maintenance room in the creepy hotel on the creepy island to shoot a doc about serial killers all alone and without my stun gun. <sighs> choices, Jamie. Make better choices. This is your own damn fault.
Where's the PA when you need one? Gotta be smarter than the chair, boss. Yeah, yeah. Where the hell is everyone? It's a two-person job to pull Kate away from her mirror. <sighs> when we wrap, you should totally write a how-to book on managing a crew with grace and poise. Fuck off. Do your job. See? You already have the title. What the hell? Hey, hey, help! Somebody help me, I can't see a thing! I... Guys, guys, please! Aaron? I... I can't get the door open! Get me out! Okay, we're right here. Calm down, Erin. It's all right. Obviously. There's no one in here. Where is she? I don't, um... Aaron? Aaron! Then she found a way out. There must be a door or a hatch or something. Way out. It's a closet, Charlie. Ah. There you are. Poor Erin. Such a horrible death. She picked a bad time to find some bravery. Now, where's our wayward host, Mr. Dumet? Apparently, he's left the island. How very rude not to stay for dinner. Maybe if he had, things wouldn't have become so uncomfortable. 
Charlie certainly lost his cool, and if a team can't work together, they are unlikely to succeed. I can only observe, and it can be frustrating to watch. In some ways, I envy you. I only record events. You get to shape them. You'd better get back to things before one of our friends makes a poor choice on their own. Where the hell is she? She's got to be around here somewhere. She has to be. Yeah, I'm sure there's a simple explanation. This place is like a maze. She just turned around somewhere and... And screaming her ass off? You all heard her. Something bad has happened. You don't know that. Bullshit. You just don't want to let this shoot go, Charles. I, on the other hand, have no problem with that. Something is very not right here. Let's just find Aaron and get the hell off this island. Everyone relax, okay? Just give me a second to think. Excuse you. <sighs> And exit stage left, our oh-so-confident and sure leader. What was that? Charlie is thinking. She looks a lot like a temper tantrum. Maybe he's right. If we don't crush this episode, we're all screwed. Are you kidding me? What? I'm just I've saying... I've been waiting on you for ages to actually make a decision about something. Anything. And now... This is when you suddenly choose to take a stand? So the show is more important than the fat Aaron is missing? No way, Mark, come on. We find her and we leave. You're jumping to conclusions. Mark, I don't know what's made the two of you suddenly swap perspectives, but Kate is right. If the show goes down, we're all screwed. Yeah, don't care. I'm gonna find Aaron. Right, <sighs> here's the plan. We've already got a plan. It's leaving. Just listen. Look, let's just crack on with things. I'm going to go and find Dumet and square everything with him. I'm thinking after standing us up for dinner, I can guilt him into doing an interview. So Erin is on her own? She'll show up. Bravo, Charles. Your delusions make for such great plans. Dumet left. I saw it, remember? Maybe he's back now. Maybe he's not. Would it kill you to think positively just once? I guess as far as Charlie ideas go, it's not the worst he's ever had. It's not even the worst idea I've had this evening. Don't go patting yourself on the back. I still think your priorities are fucked. Whatever. I'm going. I'm coming with you. We're gonna run around looking for Demet. Maybe we'll find Aaron too. I don't care what he says. I'm done. I'm getting my shit together. Kate. I'm leaving, Mark. You coming or not? <sighs> Yeah, absolutely. Okay, genius. Where are we going to look first for Dumet? I'm not looking for Dumet. I'm scouting for shots. If he pops up along the way, great. Aaron has disappeared. How can you not care about that? I can care about more than one thing at a time. Wow. You know, working this job has made me really understand what a sociopath is. Well, our show is educational. <sighs> Asshole. What happened here? I... No idea. Aaron! Can you hear me? Can you warn me before you start shouting? Jamie! Over here. Okay, yeah, I'm freaking the fuck out. It's just blood. Just blood? Are you kidding me? You're jumping to conclusions. Or maybe this is from Aaron. Stop it. You always assume the worst. All we know is something was dragged along this way and it was bleeding. And that's not a cause for concern to you? All right, it's a little odd. 
odd. What do you want me to say? Look, it's probably just Dumet or the groundskeeper dragging in some dead animal from outside. Maybe it's our dinner. Welcome, one and all, to tonight's entertainment. Oh, what the fuck? Presented by Grantham Dumet. Dumet? What? So he hasn't left. Shift your weight off that plate and this guy is getting run through by that thing. What do we do? Break the fucking door down. Right. On three. One, two, three. Uh, uh. You hear that? Yes. What is happening? Find your spirit crystal? Don't do that. And don't make fun of me. Sorry. Wouldn't want you to cut yourself. The rock is sharp as hell and, you know, super magical. It's an amethyst crystal. It, it helps keep you calm by blanketing you in protective energy. I know. I remember. If you know, then don't call it a rock. Maybe I just feel like you should take responsibility of your own emotions and stop outsourcing the job to a crystal. Maybe you're right. But you don't have to be an asshole about it. Okay, maybe that was a shitty thing to say. I'm sorry. It's fine. This isn't the time or place to- I have to tell you something. Okay. Earlier, you brought up that DP job I blew off. I never told you the truth about it. About what? It wasn't a job, not really. What are you talking about? Remember my friend Murray? He was setting up a studio in Brooklyn, Fine Arts. He wanted a partner. That's your dream. Yeah, 
there is exactly zero money to made. So I thought you tell me it was insane, rightfully, because it would be. Why the hell didn't you go for it? Why didn't you tell me? Things were already starting to get tough for us. Oh, no, no, no. Don't put any of this on me. This is all you. I know. I turned it down because it would have taken me away from you. I, I guess I didn't even think of that. I, I just, uh, What do you want me to say? Guess I was holding out for things to change with us. Deep down, I'm still hoping. You should have said all this before. I know. I'm not going through it all again. What if this time is different? Oh, come on. That's not likely, and you know it. Well... <laughs> what? Uh, that... that didn't help things. <laughs> We better go. Let's find Aaron and get the fuck out of here. Do you think they found Dumet? I don't care. I'm more interested in finding Aaron, which I'm sure Charles is not concerned with. Why do you call him that? What? Charles? Because he hates it, obviously. Wonder how much pure amethyst is going for online these days. What's that? Is this somebody's idea of a fucking joke? How is this here? Did you bring this? No. Is that her? Yeah. Shelby. Matching nails? God, don't. We always got them done the same. That's him. What? That's him. The guy in the back. You know him? I kind of did. He was just one of those guys that was always around. We would be at some of the same parties, but that's it. It was my fault. You know, that's not true. The night it happened, I was supposed to meet her. We were going to grab some drinks, go to a party. I slept through. It was a big deal on campus not to go out on your own. And Shelby waited for me when I didn't show, and that's when they, that's when he got her. It's okay. It's not fucking okay. It can't be. I have to live with it every day, and now someone knows. Someone wanted me to find this. What the hell is that? I have no idea. But I feel like it's bad. What the hell? Get over here, now! Charlie! <laughs> <laughs> I can't hold this. this. You have to get the fuck out any way you can. Just get the fuck out now! Uh, Jamie! Charlie! What the hell just happened? I, I don't know, but I think it's really, really bad. It's a moving. So now what? We're fucked. There has to be a way, right? Yeah, maintenance corridors, crawl space, has to be. Uh. What's going on? Demet, 
What the hell is going on with him? He was nervous the whole way here. I chalked it up to him just being eccentric. There's a lot of miles between eccentric and murderous. Let's think about it. You saw Dumet take off. So maybe he found out there was a killer and bugged out? Maybe. Or perhaps the man we met wasn't actually Dumet. And the dude in the mask is? That contraption, that's a hell of a lot to set up. That was planned out, every bit of it. It was set up for us to find. Which makes it even more likely the dude on the ferry wasn't really Dumet. Mother fucker! What? Brick wall. Keep going. Just like Holmes. I know, I don't want to think about it. Trying to map this in my head. But I think Erin's room has been completely cut off. Jesus, Charlie. Why is he messing with her? Because she's the most easily frightened. The most vulnerable. Don't you watch our show? Oh, what the fuck? Is that a kid? Oh, good. You hear a creepy kid voice, too. I was worried I was finally snapping. Where's it coming from? Charlie, come here. Let's get this open. We're in a bloody nesting doll. What? A Russian nesting doll. You know? A doll in a doll in a doll. Are you losing your shit? Because I don't need that right now. We're locked in a kitchen, trapped in a hotel, stranded on an island. Even if we get out of this room... How do we get out of the hotel? Exactly. Or off the island. Maybe we just focus on one thing at a time. This room first. You're right, of course. Natalie Morello. Oh, are you? Ah, fuck! Holy shit! It's, it's a fucking body. You think? Meet the last party that visited this hotel. You don't know that. Maybe. It... Fuck. You're probably right. Charlie, I found a way out. Maybe. Look, this one swings out. We can probably force it easier than the others. Stand back. That's not what I was expecting. Ah, Amy! Ah! Ah! <sighs> Charlie? Charlie? Jamie? Hello? Aaron? Keep it down. Where could she be? She can't have just vanished. Mark, come over here. What is going on? <clears throat> are, are we locked in here? Looks like it, yeah. Wait. Shh. What? Shh. You hear that? Is that them? Where's it coming from? Somebody's in the restaurant. What's the plan, Charlie? You end up dead. Why end up? I'd like to propose a toast. It seems as if this may well be our last supper as a team. Given how you've all been acting. Me and my apostles. <laughs> Just wait. Give me a moment. I can't. Decide who the Judas is. What the fuck is this? I've got so many 
Mark, what are you doing? Just stay back from it. This is beyond messed up. I don't know what Charlie's gotten us into, but if I see Dumet, I'm gonna fuck him up. Okay, this is fucked up. What the hell is going on? Jesus. It looks just like him. No way somebody just threw these together in the last couple of hours. You hear that? Footsteps. And they're getting closer. Watch out. Invited here and dinner, and then just leave. Jamie. Yeah. You guys suck at being stealthy. What happened when the wall closed? Demet killed his groundskeeper. What? Right in front of us. Demet? It's a setup. He was wearing a mask, and I know how that sounds, but I'm not joking, and now he's after Aaron, so we need to move. Wait, hang on. Where's Charlie? I don't know. We got separated. No way this is happening. You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side Are of you the fucking lake, kidding me? Bodies. Dead. Jesus, Dead. shut Bodies. it up! Dead. 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 Who was that? This... It's fake. A prop, or from an animal or something. It has to be. No, 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 no way. real I told you this was all too much let's get out of here oh, it's locked what's going on the door I came through is locked too do man you want to play around Get out here, right now. Let's fucking play.
such an unpleasant way to go. I have to wonder how the group will fare without their leader. It can be difficult working with someone you've been involved with, but I think Mark and Kate may be finding a way and learning some new things about each other. And how do we feel about Mr. Dumet's lovely animatronics? I think they're rather clever. Some of them look very realistic. I wonder where he sources the parts. It would only be fair at this stage to offer up a little hint to even the odds. What do you think? No? Well, I'm sorry I asked. You'd better get back to things. Best of luck. Aaron. No way. Damn it. It's another trap. It's the only way out of here. So we're going to find out. Is this a good idea? I don't see any other options. Columbus Bar. This is Laura at reception. What the hell? The Columbus Spa is now open for guests. We treat each and every one of our guests like a real work of art. Son of a bitch. He's watching us. Mark, give me a hand. I think we can bust through this thing. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> 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 This, this 
wasn't in the script. I... Obviously. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? There must be a way out. There's gotta be a way through. Mark, give me a hand moving this shit. Mark, here. Let's move the desk. Oh. Mark? Jamie? 
here. Okay. We're okay. We're okay. <sighs> Thank God. We found a key. Let's get out of here. This way. I've had enough of this shit. What the hell is going on? Well, Dumet offered a unique HH Holmes experience and Charlie couldn't resist. Problem is, for Dumet, it's real. Moving walls, traps, tricks. It's everything Holmes did. So why? Why is he doing why it? Why did Holmes do what he did? Why do any of the killers we've covered do the shit they do? Upbringing, trauma. They're crazy. crazy. But they aren't. You know what I mean. Let's just find Aaron. Guys, over here. <laughs> Holy shit. Is this? We don't know what it is. I watch the door. You guys look around.
Texas. We're fucked. He's just gonna pick us off one by one, isn't he? What did he do to her? I'm so, so sorry. Don't fucking touch me. Don't start pretending like you give a shit now. Let's focus on getting the hell out of here. You two can fight later. We need a plan. Forget his games, traps, all that bullshit. Think about the killers we've covered. There's always a weakness. Are you suggesting we invite him to tea and psychoanalyze? I'm suggesting we use our heads. We can make guesses all day, but if we die here, it won't matter. I'm not playing detective, I just want to survive. Playing detective is how we survive. We play his games, we'll lose. We need to outthink him. He's trying to pick us off one at a time. We need to stick together. Hang on. He could be listening to us right now. Where should we go? Back to the ferry. It left, remember? It's on a line, maybe we could reel it in. Maybe it isn't good enough. The lighthouse. Maybe we can signal for help. There's police boats patrolling the lakes, right? All the way out here? Lighthouses are meant to be seen for miles. Are you shooting any of this? No one is gonna believe it without proof. You want me to record him trying to kill us? And the bodies? For the cops? Hear that? The walls are moving again. Kate, hang on. We need to stay close. Shit! Kate! Hang on! Ah! 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 Mark! Jamie! Wait, no, no, no! lab rat here for your amusement. So now 
know what? Here we go. Are you kidding me? to be a killer. Who says self-help books don't work? Thank <laughs> you. 
Hello? Can you hear me? Is this the mirror was two-way it's totally a little pervert creeper room demet is watching us and sneaking around between the walls have you seen mark no i've seen demet though he's creeping around all of this he's got video feeds recording decks a mixer big enough for countless mics he's watching everything it's more than that he's got utilities running through here hydraulics electrics everything he can control the whole building from here how far down does it go this all connects this is how he's getting around the house Charlie would say this guy is a fractured psyche, that he's wearing a mask to put what he's doing on a different personality. That's probably just his theory because he can't reconcile a human doing this stuff. I think it's a mistake to say he's just crazy. He is in full control of what he's doing. He's just not wired like the rest of us. That's not crazy. He's been tracking us since we arrived. Mark was last seen in the basement. Crazy implies out of control. Look at this place. This is methodical. That's not crazy. No. Wait, he's wearing the mask as part of the performance. At best, maybe he's insecure about something and it gives him confidence. Insecure? Like, low self-esteem? Is he uncomfortable at parties? Does, did his mommy not hug him enough? Bad parenting can definitely be a factor, but it could be a shitty dad just as much, or an uncle, any adult figure, really. Don't you read any of our research? Mm, I just set up the lights. I'm sure he fits the profile. Bullied as a kid, unchecked anger. As an adult, he's either an extreme overachiever or a cipher. Nothing between.
He likes being in a position of power, especially over women. Okay, cool, but why? Over here! Look at this. It saw his little tricks of moving walls and crap. Nothing in this shit box is real. He controls everything from here. It's a murder factory. You're right. We should use this against him. I want to find Mark, not play Demet's game. If we trap him, we can look for Mark without looking over our shoulders the whole time. Okay, look. He's in here, right? So we get him to go down this hall, and we trap him between these two moving walls. There's no other way out of there. He'd be stuck. Okay. But how do you make sure he goes down that hall to begin with? One of us is going to have to be bait. No, no way. It's too risky, Jamie. So is letting him run free. I'd say that's more dangerous. Come on. There's no second chances here. It's my plan. I'll be the bait. If you're sure, just... If it looks like it's going south, get the hell out of there. No argument here. I might need that, if he shows his face. Here, take it. If the mech comes for you, fuck his shit up. enough of a moment let's do this stick to the plan obviously so how do we get out third floor must be a work in progress okay be ready you're gonna have to time it right to trap him and not me all right here goes nothing <sighs> Head down the hall, keep to the right. Was this on the mat? More rooms being built. Close it! Fucking close it! 
No, no, not yet! Come on, open! Get away from me. Get away! What an excruciating way to go. I suppose Kate and Jamie just weren't on the same page with their plan to catch Dumet. Deep down, Kate will always know she played a part in Jamie's death. It's not the first time she's let down a friend of hers like that. It's a catchy tune, isn't it? Erin's Don't Be Scared song. Sadly, it didn't work. Perhaps you regret not taking me up on the offer of a hint earlier. Would you like one now? I see. You're on your own then. You should get back. I hope these chats are helpful. I certainly wouldn't want them to be intimidating. I'll be watching your progress. As always, watching very closely.
Get away from me! Stay away from me. Rot in hell, asshole! Only way out is through.
This is gross. Disgusting.
Come on. Please don't do this. Jesus. that.
shoot.
Jesus, why did I look down? Oh, 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 oh. Hey, hey, boy. Okay, easy does it. Easy. all the way out here, boy. <laughs> you make it look easy. Miscalculated. Should have seen that coming. Damn it. Keep going up, I guess.
What is that smell? Ugh. Oh my god. the charts.
Ja. There's a key.
Easy boy. Let's get that light on. Tampering with this seal is a federal offense.
Ow! Up here! Gang! Hey! Mark? Please tell me you can hear me. What? What? No, no, no. Get me out! Let me out of here, you son of a bitch! Kate? What did you do to her? Kate!
My name is Joseph Morello. What is this? I'm a true crime author. If you're hearing this, then yesterday we met and I led you to believe I was Grantham Demet. I had no choice in the matter. I was asked to do this by the actual Dumet. And now, he needs you to do the same thing and make a call. The number is on speed dial. Whoever answers, you need to tell them that you are Dumet. There's a script in front of you. Use it. Then get them to the island. Wait. What? Mark. Just like do something. I did to you. Ferry them over. Get them into the house. I'm sorry. I didn't want to do this, but it was the only way you'd give me back my daughter. I... I needed... I had to get her back. I'm so... I'm so sorry. Just make the call. Or don't. Maybe you're stronger than I am. But whoever he has that you care about, they don't have much time. It's just us. What? We're the only ones who made it. Everyone else... Everyone else is dead, Mark. You goddamn psycho! Just... Just let us go! We won't say shit! Am I speaking? June Collins. Who is this? Mrs. Collins, my aunt. My name is Grantham Dumet. I'm not trying to sell you anything, but I have an invitation for you.
Mark, listen to me. Hey, look at me. What? You had no choice. Those people. I... I just delivered them to their deaths. If you didn't, we'd be dead. I didn't want to believe it at first, but I looked him up. Oh, you did good, babe. Place is a little creepy, but hey, who else gets a free island vacation? It's not creepy, it's authentic. Mr. Dumet wants us to have a true period experience. Just hope it's safe. Who knows what's in all these dark corners? Good things must come to an end, but how good was the end for our crew? Unfortunately, you lost a few of them. So, rest in peace. Charlie, I'm afraid it looks like Series 2 isn't going to be commissioned after all. Erin. The new girl surprised everyone with her courage, but now she's gone to the great audio suite in the sky. And Jamie, the plug's been pulled and the lights are out. I don't think rewiring the fuse is going to help this time around. What about those who survived? Has the experience changed them? Kate had a secret. She was traumatized by something that happened a long time ago, but she faced the thing she was most afraid of in the whole world and survived. Perhaps that helped her see how important Mark's love was to her. And Mark had to stop waiting for people to tell him what to do. He had to make his own way in the world. And that helped him find his way back to Kate. I'll tackle the paperwork in the morning. Can you find your own way out? It was, as always, enlightening. I have no doubt we'll meet again in the future. Farewell. What was that? What's happening? I don't know. No. No, 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 no. What's happening? We're going the wrong way. We're... Mark, look! 